Hi, and it's 3.45 p.m., and this is Observer Radio News. You are here with the one and only Bianca Murray, and in the weather today, it is a cool and sunny 17 degrees outside of our East York studios. Now, here are the headlines. Local high school teacher faces sexual exploitation charges. Jaroslav Halak's lucky number is 53. And Justin Bieber's Sydney concert was shut down by police and fans. Now to our top story. After turning himself in last week, a 40-year-old high school teacher has been arrested and charged with sexual exploitation after being accused of having sexual relations with his student. Timothy Dingwell was placed on home assignment and was um, removed from Harvard Collegiate after allegedly having sexual relations with a 17-year-old student. Dingwall taught history and geography there. The school is located on Bathurst Street and has informed all staff and parents last week about his charges. In other news, seven-year-old Caitlin Sampson's father's foster parents are now facing a trial for her death in 2008. Police say her body was found in, par- in a Parkdale apartment in one of the worst conditions ever seen. Donna Irving and Warren Johnson are standing trial on first-degree murder charges following a preliminary hearing held last Monday. The provincial government suggests reconstructing the healthcare system earlier this month to save money and increase efficiency. Under the new system, the provincial government would give money to hospital clinics that perform well. Conversely, it will cut off resources to clinics that are underperforming. The Liberals suggest this model encourages hospitals to specialize, focusing their resources into particular treatments. But there's one MPP who's not afraid to say he does not like this plan. New Democrat MPP Peter Tappens spoke er um, openly in his home writing of Toronto Danforth on Thursday. In the end, the health care problems we have in Ontario aren't going to be solved by competition. They're going to be solved by larger investment in keeping people healthy in the first place, then making sure that what we spend, we spend intelligently and responsibly. We should be engaged in health policy that provides excellent care at every hospital. Now, if you love your local theme park as much as I do, you might want to listen up. York Regional Police is advising all consumers to be cautious of all Wonderland tickets being purchased online after cases of last year's fraudulent creations. Police say last May a victim replied to a posting for tickets for sale on a website, and the suspect had purchased the passes with a stolen credit card and later accepted cash for these passes, presenting the victim with an e-ticket. The 21-year-old man was arrested on October of 2009 and is facing multiple fraud fraud related related charges it is possible that there are other suspects and victims that's all for news i will be coming up with sports after these announcements Thank you so much for listening, and we're back with the latest in sports. In hockey, Jaroslav Halak made 53 saves, and Mike Kamilari scored two early goals in the Montreal Canadiens as the Montreal Canadiens continue on in the NHL playoffs, winning their second game in a row, 4-1 over the Washington Capitals yesterday night. Continuing on in baseball, the Blue Jays almost held it together but failed to score one run they needed most yesterday night. They now stand at a 13-12 um, at home to the Boston Red, so- Red Sox. Now to entertainment. In entertainment, thousands of st- Starstruck tweens camping out anxiously waiting for pop star Justin Bieber's concert raced towards the Sydney Harbor yesterday morning, leaving eight girls in critical conditions and wounding several more. Police canceled the performance after the stampede, which may have begun when rumors spread that the 16-year-old Bieber had arrived there early. According to Australia's Network 7, at least 10 girls passed out and paramedics had to pull them out of the crowd. One of the eight girls sent to the hospital fractured her kneecap. In other unfortunate news, according to Brett Michaels' website, doctors are planning more tests to find the source of the brain hemorrhage that is keeping him in intensive care. A report from doctors is expected this week. The website does not say where Michaels, 47, is hospitalized. And that's all for today. Don't forget that more new, for more news, you can visit Observer Radio News online. Thank you for allowing us to bring our news to you. This is Bianca Murray signing off.